going through last summer, being probably in the best shape of your professional career, getting on that plane in Helsinki, what was your vision for this upcoming season? I knew that I was in a great shape. I, I knew I'm, I was going to have a good season. You know, I was confident, and, and the feeling was, was good. And, and it wasn't good for a long, but it was good for a moment there. Over the Atlantic, Koivu felt the sharp pain in his side. Days later, doctors gave him the diagnosis. I knew it was something because the way he looked and, and uh, the way he spoke, I knew it was some serious, it was something, something really wrong. But uh, then I asked, well, what does it mean? And he goes, uh, it means that you have a cancer. It's a, it's a shock. You know, you just feel you're by yourself, everything stops around you, and you don't know what to think about. No, I've never had pain like that before. I remember that after the first chemo, 48 hours in, in a dark room. And I didn't eat anything. I, I, uh, I couldn't, as soon as I got up, I had a huge headache going up in my head and I had to lay down. But even on the darkest of days, Koivu never lost hope. When I was lying in the bed, I, I was thinking about you know working out and getting back in my eyes. I thought to myself, I goes, when I beat this thing, I mean, how tired you are or, or how much your legs burn, that's nothing. I can do it. I can go through it. This is an evening where there will be not just an outpouring, but a waterfall of emotion. Now they come back. Ottawa. The longest, loudest ovation this building has ever heard. You know, I was, because I knew and I expected that the reaction is going to be great, but uh, it was something different. Up they come again out of the seats. You know, I, I looked at the announcer a couple times and come on, give me a break. Like, you know, do something and stop this thing. Three times he tried. Yeah. <laughs> Dan Marawelli is not going to drop the puck until they get this out of their system. If he waits that long, we may be here till midnight. Because... Eight rounds of chemotherapy put his cancer into remission and made for a miraculous return. But physically, Koivu is still recovering, and the merciless grind of the postseason awaited. I was really nervous before that first uh, first playoff game because I knew it was going to be physical. Everybody talked about it for three days. And, I, and, and then I said, well, you know, am I ready or not? Lance Armstrong, the guy he spoke to, is quoted as saying, cancer remade me as a person. I don't know what he meant, but I have something you don't have, and the experience, what I went through, it's, it's you know, I really thought about it, and I, I was really proud and really happy, you know, what I went through, and, and uh, I'm really fortunate where I'm right now. Things could be a lot different. It makes me proud even we, you know, we wouldn't want to stand up, but we lost in the first round. It was, uh, it didn't matter.